Remember the moment. That did not just happen. Blair Walsh, the Vikings star kicker, broke fans' hearts when he missed a game-winning field goal. And the kick is no good! Not just any field goal, but one that would have beaten favored Seattle and moved the Vikings deeper into the playoffs. And that left a lot of fans angry and bitter. Way to go, Blair Walsh. Way to ruin yeah! little kids' dreams. And some of them are still mad. How could you miss that? Reed Tobenheim and Eddie Clifton know the role of kickers well. Tobenheim is the kicker for the University of North Dakota, and Clifton kicks for Concordia. I was pretty mad. I kind of wanted to break some things. A kick like that you really need to make. I mean, the team was counting on him, and I feel for the guy because I guess it's tough. The miss left fans and media questioning the role of a kicker. They're not football players. They aren't. Tobenheim disagrees. If you really think about it, football is just a game of a bunch of different skills all coming together to be one as a team. And, you know, you have your quarterback that throws it. That's his skill. The receiver that catches it. Kicker and punter, those are just another skill that goes into the team. Are we the big, burly, you know, scary football players? Maybe not, but, like, we're definitely a big part of the team because, you know, everyone needs a kicker, whether they like it or not. So does Clifton. Without kickers, I mean, you have to score touchdowns to go ahead every single time, so they kind of are, and they also score the most points. But does having the laces out really matter? I put Tobenheim to the test. After kicking laces in nearly 20 times, this was his takeaway. When you have the laces in, I've noticed that the ball hooks a lot. We're going to talk about like Blair Walsh whenever he missed that field goal. Since he was a righty, if he was on the right hash and the laces were facing him, it's going to make him hook it a little bit, which I think that's why he missed left. When it comes to kicking, Tobenheim says no there are several factors to, to consider. The nap has to be perfect, the hold has to be perfect, and the kick has to be perfect. And if one thing is off, I'm telling you, it can sink the whole ship. Both Tobenheim and Clifton agree. My uh, special teams coach in high school, he always told me, he's like, the holder could completely drop it and it'll still be the kicker's fault. It's always the kicker's fault. When you sign up for the life of a kicker. Yeah, I guess kind of the life. You have to be prepared to shoulder the blame as well.